We now want to turn to our youngest victims. In this case, a seven-year-old girl from New Hampshire named Harmony Montgomery hasn't been seen since 2019, two and a half years ago. The last known pictures of Harmony are when she was five years old. The police just recently learned she was missing. There have been two arrests made in this case. Her father, Adam Montgomery, was arrested on Tuesday on second-degree assault cha charges. Harmony's stepmother was arrested a day later this week. She was arrested and been charged with welfare fraud. The police say that Kayla, the stepmother, was continuing to collect food stamps for Harmony, even though the girl had disappeared. Special guest with me to break all this down, Tom Rawlings, who is a child welfare expert. Thank you so much for joining us. But before we talk, I want to listen to a little bit of what our own Court TV, Vinnie Politan, has on the background of this tragic story. This is little five-year-old Harmony Montgomery clutching her doll and smiling for the camera. When you look at this picture, everything seems very normal. Harmony seems happy and cared for. But sometimes, pictures can be very deceiving because Harmony's world is anything but normal and happy. Her father has been arrested and charged with second-degree assault. The victim? His five-year-old daughter, little Harmony. But that's not the most troubling part of Harmony's world. This picture is from 2019, and there are not any newer pictures of Harmony. The photographs of this little angel are all over two years old. That's because she's been missing since October or November of 2019. Help us find this little girl. Someone knows something, do what is right, and call in. I cannot emphasize that enough. Somebody out there knows something. It's time for people to do the right thing. According to a police affidavit, Harmony's mother, Crystal Sori, says she lost custody to Harmony's father, Adam, because she was dealing with a substance abuse problem. She says the last time she saw Harmony was a FaceTime call on Easter of 2019. Meanwhile, Harmony's father, Adam, says Crystal picked up Harmony for Thanksgiving in 2019, but Adam's girlfriend at the time says Adam told her he dropped Harmony off at Crystal's. Now, back to the assault charges. Adam's uncle claims that Adam admitted to bashing Harmony around the house and witnessing Harmony being spanked very hard forced to stand in the corner for hours and scrubbing the toilet with her toothbrush. So while the court system is dealing with the charges against Adam Montgomery, the chief is still looking for this beautiful little girl in the photo. Quite frankly, enough is enough. It's a seven-year-old girl. Let's find her, all right? Let's come together as a community and do the right thing. That's all I'm asking, and I don't think I'm asking a lot. If, if people think that I am, then I'll leave it at that. Let's find her. And Tom Rawlings, I know that's one of the reasons that you've been willing to join me here today as an expert. I want to provide a little context to tell this story and then turn it over to you because we have a timeline. We know that in July of 2018, the mother of this child, Harmony Crystal, lost custody due to substance abuse issues. That means she was in the custody of the Child Welfare Agency. However, then, uh, less than a year later, February of 2019, Harmony's father was awarded custody. Let's stop there, Tom. Do you see any issues or red flags yet with that scenario? Absolutely, Ashley. Um, first of all, remember this child was in the custody of Massachusetts uh, Child, Welfare, uh, Child, Child Welfare Agency. And somehow they placed her back with the father in New Hampshire. So did they not do any follow-up? What happened between, say, early 2019 when the child, when little Harmony, who's so cute, um, was placed back with her father, uh, and then later in 2019 when uh, the father obviously either did something to dispose of her or got rid of her in some way, it's really a terrible situation, but I'm really concerned about what 
the agencies here knew about the situation and why they didn't follow up to make sure that she was safe. Why they didn't follow up to make sure she was safe, because I want to follow up on that thread for a moment. We know there was a stepmother, and the stepmother in this case is the Kayla Montgomery that I mentioned, who was then right. arrested because she's been collecting checks, food stamps, yeah. as if she has food this stamps. child, right? And so yeah. let's talk about that part. Shouldn't, shouldn't the agency with the food stamp responsibility have been laying eyes or confirming that, yes, the child's there and she's even eligible to receive these food stamps in the first place? I can tell you from experience, Ashley, that normally the food stamp agency takes the parent's word for whether or not they have custody of a child who's receiving food stamps. Now, the only time that they ever are able to question this, for example, is if two different parents are claiming food stamps. Obviously, uh, you know, the child's mother was not. Uh, the child's stepmother claimed the child was in her home. It really disturbs me that she went along with whatever scheme was going on uh, to, to collect food stamps for a child that she knew was gone from the home for almost two years. Yeah. It's terrible. It's, I'm very glad they have charged her because she certainly knew something about what was going on. And perhaps these food stamp charges will allow her to come clean on what else she may have known. Right. And Tom, one of the reasons I'm so glad to talk to you about this case is because, unfortunately, the world that you and I have worked in for so long, yeah. this isn't necessarily a unique case. It's the worst of the worst of the worst. I'm not saying it happens every day, but it happens. But somebody knows what happened. And it may be Adam, the father, and Kayla, the stepmother. But what are the red flags? What can we look to to figure out what happened to Harmony? Where is she? Well, Okay, so here's a couple of things we need to think about, okay? First of all, she was in school in Massachusetts in the, in the uh, child welfare system. She was in foster care. We know that. And we also know that when she went to New Hampshire to live with her father, she was never enrolled in school. So why isn't someone checking up on that fact? Um, is there, uh, you know, the family knew about it. We know that, for example, that the uncle knew about her being beaten. We know that other family members on the Montgomery side knew that she had disappeared, that they didn't know where she was. Why didn't they call Child Protective Services? Uh, and of course, what we don't know yet is what the child welfare, the child abuse agency records look like. Why don't we have access to those? This is a child has been missing for two years. I hope and pray that the arrangement was that he simply gave her to a family who wanted to adopt a child because the alternatives are so much worse. That's one of the things the police chief said. We know somebody out there knows something about Harmony. We hope and pray that she is still alive, that she is simply with a different family, but we don't know what may have happened to her. And that's what really troubles me. Right. And Tom, we were just having that conversation here. I think sometimes there's a natural instinct to say something horrific has happened in terms of she's been killed. But mm -hmm. on the other hand, you and I both know people sell their children. Again, worst of the worst case scenario. Yeah. But when you say for adoption, it could be that somebody said, oh, I want money for this child. Yes, you can adopt. You pay me the yeah. money and you can have her. Sure, Ashley. And we know that Adam Montgomery had a, a terrible uh, drug problem. He had relapsed. He was into heroin. This is a man who shot someone in the head over a drug deal. We know that much. And so it may very well be that he uh, took money to have her illegally adopted. And I think that actually, unfortunately, is our best case scenario. There's a family out there who has her. She's being treated well by them. They are reluctant to come forward because they know they did the wrong thing in their perhaps desperation to adopt a child. And that is our best case scenario. And that scenario itself is unfortunate. I'm hopeful that if that happened, that that family will at least please come forward and let us know that this child is safe.
Let's unravel that theme of not talking, not telling, if people are afraid or they're embarrassed. Last question. If we look at that timeline, mother says she last saw Harmony in April of 2019. We're now in 2021 when law enforcement's just found out she's missing. We know uncle yeah. says that he bashed her around the house and the father yeah. admitted to causing a black eye. What can you say to help people understand they need to talk, they need to report, there's no reason to stay silent if they have information? We all have an obligation to help save children, to protect children from uh, whatever may be going on in their lives. And it is so disheartening to me that when we have children who disappear that they can be gone for two solid years without someone informing the police or, or the authorities. The family knew about it. Uh, the stepmother knew about it, and yet she co continued to collect food stamps. And, of course, um, Harmony's mother knew something, and I think she did her best. But when you have these custody issues, it is sometimes so hard to find out the truth about what is going on with your own child. And I do think that both New Hampshire and Massachusetts child welfare has something to answer for here too. All right, Tom Rawlings, as always, I appreciate your expertise and that Court T does these youngest victim seg segments because it is so near and dear to my heart and somebody knows something and the numbers on the screen. If you know anything about Harmony Montgomery, please, please call. When we come back, the Supreme Court, are they going to back up Biden?